you're on but uh you're in on inscrutable hey gang jeff stone here with day 69 of the year 2016 at magic reviewed.com we got inscrutable by joseph berry joseph berry uh, so 32 effects <clears throat> and or ideas and whatnot for $64. Um, it's like, I don't even know. Does it say on there? Yeah, three hours. It's long. It's a lot of stuff. So um, and $64 for, so basically each DVD, it averages out to uh, $32 for about 16 effects pretty reasonable price i think especially when you see what's going on here um so let me just there's too many effects for me to go through each one but i did anyway on the written review so go check out the written review uh there's a link in the, the youtube description below or if you're watching this on magicreview.com just go like this you'll see it right down there <clears throat> those that's where the instructor or the written review is so what are you getting here? You're getting um, a very clever guy, first of all, uh, Joseph Berry. Second of all, a lot of self-working stuff. Um, he is the, uh, you know, Max Maven talks about the Zen Archer concept in his uh, DVD called Multiplicity, which if you don't have that, get it, really. Um, but the idea of the Zen Archer is that he would uh the archer would shoot a an arrow and up into the woods and it would land in the woods somewhere and when you'd go look at it it would be dead center in a bullseye well the way it worked was he had a you know a cohort who would run out into the woods secretly and draw paint a target around the arrow wherever it landed and so um that's what we're talking about is this idea of um leading your audience down a specific path and um, making the outcome of what happened be the outcome that was always going to happen. We're talking, of course, of um, forms of equivoque, equivoque, however you want to say it, and, um, and guiding spectators. Now, not everything in here is that, but there is a fair amount of that. But it's the kind of stuff where I don't even know if it's quite, you know, Magician's Choice. That's another name for it. I don't even know if it's quite Magician's Choice because it feels and seems so fair and there's so many other elements going into it. And so um, I don't even know if it's fair to call it all of it equivoque, uh, equivoque. It's, um, but there is a lot of forcing going on. Uh, some of it's sort of classic forcing, like, you know, spreading through the cards, and but he's got some really nice touches on that. Um, there's, you know, minorly procedural stuff that um, just where you do navigate the waters a little bit and you get to where you end up where you need to end up, uh, like the Zen Archer. Um, but there are also things, I mean, a lot of this stuff is done from a shuffle deck, where it just seems impossible. I mean, it just seems impossible. Um, you know, he's got some really, really clever concepts and ideas in there. So some of it is very um, non-movie and slidey. Others is very movie and slidey. I'd say in this particular case, these two DVDs, probably 85% of it is stuff where you need very little technical skill. You need a little bit of acting skill, a little bit of thinking on your feet skill, but very little technical skill. So this is going to be a super short review, guys. A, because I hear my kids scream, and I need to go out there and tell them I'm recording and zip it. B, uh, because this is the kind of thing where if you need details, this video would be an hour long. So go over and read the written review. As I mentioned, it's, it's below this video in one way or the other. It's either link in the YouTube description or the actual review is right below you in magicreview.com. Head on over there and look at all the descriptions. And... Um, the Dark Wizard himself, Mr. Peter Nardi, is there with Joseph Barry to keep the discussion on track uh, because he has a tendency to sort of assume that you 
know more than you realize because he's like, oh, you know, you know how this works kind of attitude. Peter Nardi's good at like saying, all right, let's look at this detail again. Let's go over that again. It's really good. The reason I point that out is because tomorrow we're going to be looking at the uh, second inscrutable disc and Peter Nardi, the dark wizard, was absent and we there is a problem there. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. But anyway, this one, five stars, easy. Capital G, capital E, capital M. Stone status, a big, fat, juicy gem with exclamation point. Go read the written review. Uh, more than ever, this one, you need to read the written review for details. I do talk a lot about the methods and the effects. Every effect is is bullet-pointed and discussed, you know, some in more depth than others, but it's all over there. So head on over, look at that. While you're doing that or before you do that, yeah, we'll go with before. Click that button, subscribe, thumbs up, like this video, share it, tell people all about your good buddy Jeff Stone at magicreviewed.com, the greatest magicreviewed.com on the planet. Because it's the only one. It's like when my daughter says, you're my, you're my best daddy. Well, of course I am. I'm the only one. Anywho, and on top of all that, listen to the random iTunes song of the moment, which is Why Baby Why. Speaking of George Jones, we were talking about him in a video a couple days ago. I love Georgie. Whoops, wrong one. Why, baby, why? If you don't like George Jones, we can't be friends. Okay, I'm not that shallow. I hate when people do that. You don't like what I like, we're not friends. No, but seriously, if you um, if you don't know George Jones, that's some classic country there, folks. You got to check it out. I'll put a link to that in the description below. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow as we deal with, as I mentioned, Inscrutable 2 by Joseph Barry. Until then, thanks for watching. Peace out.